Welcome to 40k Data Slate Review. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Death Guard unit, Death Shroud Terminators. 40k Data Slate Review. Death Shroud Terminators are a unique, heavy support Death Guard Terminator unit. Still two wounds with a two up save, but they are a bit tougher than normal Terminators in that they have Strength and Toughness 5. In addition, their Terminator armor is actually cataphracty, which means it grants them a four up invulnerable save. They pay for their extra defenses by being movement four and advancing D3 inches instead of D6. This makes these models pretty slow. They do have teleporting strike, which allows them to deploy from the reserves, but after that, they will be creeping up the field. Death Shroud Terminators have threes to hit in combat and three attacks. They have two weapons, the Plague Spurt Gauntlet and the Man Reaper. The Plague Spurt is an interesting pistol weapon that auto hits like a flamer and has D6 attacks and strength three with Plague Special Rule. Six inch range means this will either only be used in combat or before very short charges. Most incoming charges are likely going to be out of range for this to overwatch. This weapon will be good if the Terminators get stuck in combat with large screen unit. The player has the option to take a second Plague Spurt, but it makes an expensive model even more, so it's probably not worth it. The Man Reaper is the other weapon the Death Shroud Terminators wield. The Man Reaper is a powerful melee weapon that's plus 3 strength, AP 3, and damage D3. Not only that, but it's a plague weapon. These Terminators will be strength 8, meaning they wound most models on 2s or 3s with reroll 1s. These things are pretty powerful in combat. Along with all the defensive rules mentioned before, these Terminators have Disgustingly Resilient. This rule gives them a save against wounds and mortal wounds on a 5 up. They have two more important special rules that make them want to be sitting near Death Guard characters most of the time. Eyes of Mortarian adds one attack to nearby Death Guard characters other than Mortarian within 3 inches. Also within 3 inches is where Silent Bodyguard takes effect. Roll a die for every hit a Death Guard character receives, and on 2-up the attack is redirected towards the Death Shroud Terminators. This rule effectively means the enemy has to destroy the Terminators before they can destroy that character. Keep in mind this ability can also be used in the fight phase, so a smart consolidate in or out of range may be beneficial. There are a lot of Death Guard characters. Some of the better ones for this ability are Chaos Lords, Demon Princes, or Typhus. They'd all benefit from getting the extra attack and would be protected at the same time. Since they are characters, this may just be protecting them from sniper weapons. But if the Death Guard player plans to play aggressively with these models, the Terminators may come in handy in combat. The character that benefits most from this ability is Mortarian. Mortarian has a giant target on his back, and every shooting army will target it first turn. If the Death Guard player doesn't get first turn, they will want something to protect this expensive character from getting damaged. Death Shroud Terminators are perfect at this. Most shooting armies will not be able to take out Mortarian and the Death Shrouds in a single shooting phase. At the very least, they will be able to soak up enough damage to keep their Primarch higher on the damage table. Mortarian is fast, and the Death Shroud Terminators are slow, so they won't be keeping up with the average warp-timed Mortarian. The Terminators have two options, set up in reserves and join Mortarian after he gets to the enemy's front lines, or deploy next to him to absorb the enemy's first turn. The choice to put the Terminators in reserves as opposed to next to Mortarian may depend on how much damage the opponent can do their first turn. If they have a strong Alpha Strike, deploy them near him, otherwise they may be best in reserves. Death Shout Terminators come in units of 3 and of leadership 9, so they don't really worry about morale tests. Each model clocks in a significant 60 points, so 180 points minimum per unit. This is the major downside of these models. Each Terminator loss is extremely detrimental. Even with Disgustingly Resilient, Mortal Wounds tear these models apart. A single D3 Mortal Wound attack could wipe half the unit out. Since they are so expensive, it will be appealing to use other characters and abilities to augment the Death Shrouds. There are quite a few ways to do this. Tally Men, Demon Princes, and Chaos Lords all allow the Terminators to reroll ones to hit. Noxious Blightbringers will allow them to move a smidge extra by advancing two dice and taking the highest for nearby Death Shroud Terminators. Plague Surge is probably the most direct buff the Death Shrouds have access to. This character will allow nearby Terminators to reroll disgustingly resilient rolls of 1. This roll is extremely important to them, so everything helps. In a Death Guard army, or a Chaos Space Marine army, the Death Shrouds would have access to a few worthwhile stratagems. Veterans of the Long War cost 1 command point and adds 1 to wound rolls for Terminators, almost guaranteeing they would wound on 2s. 
Grandfather's Blessing costs two command points, which is a bit hefty, but can return a model back to the unit if none of the models in the unit had a wound. If a model in that unit does have a wound, don't bother using the stratagem, as it would only restore one wound. Since the models are so expensive, the stratagem is actually really useful when it can be used. Death Guards specifically have a stratagem that synergizes well with the Death Drop Terminators. Cloud of Flies costs one command point and keeps the enemy from targeting them unless they are the closest visible unit. This essentially gives them the same protections as characters, keeping the enemy from focusing on it before taking out the other characters. Death Guard also have access to a few spells that would help the Terminators a great deal. Putrescent Vitality would add plus one to strength and toughness of a unit of Terminators. Toughness six models with strength nine close combat attacks is pretty brutal. Blades of Putrefication would add plus one to wound rolls made by the Man Reapers. In addition, it would score mortal wounds on sevens to wound. This means that with the spell, this ability would trigger on sixes, and with veterans of the Long War, it would trigger on fives. Miasma of Pestilence reduces incoming enemy shooting by minus one to hit, but is probably better cast a Mortarian or whoever the Terminators are protecting. In a Chaos Space Marine army, the Terminators would also gain access to Prescience for plus one to hit and Diabolic Strength to give one model plus two strength and plus one attack. This is kind of neat, and would make the champion strength ten with five attacks. Even though there are a lot of abilities that can enhance the Death Shroud Terminators, they are fairly durable on their own, and can deal a lot of damage, even at minimum strength. These units aren't only going to be usable in Death Guard armies, Chaos Space Marine and Chaos armies will all be fine fielding these Terminators. When facing Death Shroud Terminators, try to focus fire on them before targeting the characters they are protecting. As stated before, Mortal Wounds murder the Death Shrouds. A really good smite could remove the whole unit in one go. Death Shroud Terminators receive a 3 out of 5. They are really strong in combat, but they are pretty slow. They are expensive, and really only shine when Mortarian, which is about an 800 point investment, which really limits the unit's effectiveness. What do you think of Death Shroud Terminators? What other data slates would you like to see reviewed on the channel? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching.